And so the city becomes green again, while the roofs become yellow when the vegetation becomes green again, the snow is melting. Now, what we should see then soon is that the farm is having a lot of labors there and that means, well, the fields need to be sowed again. And we have two more fields over here, both of them with wheat, because wheat gives us flour and we do need lots of that. I'm also going to have a second farm soon because we do need hay. Now that is something that we can do. Um, I mean, obviously we could just have more fields actually with this farm here. I think this would be fine as well. There is no limit to the farms as far as I can see. So what we could do is we could just have another field then going over here as far as the eye can see and just look how many trees we would need to chop down for this. That is of course quite the work that this one means. Place is occupied, he tells me. I don't know with what. I think that is a bug there. Nope, actually there is a occupied place here. I think, oh, we have already a field here that is being um, constructed now, which is not finished yet because, you know, 22 trees are left, but it doesn't matter for now. My people are sowing the fields just how it's supposed to be and we get lots of resources in again. What we can see here is that potato um, is running out again and flour as well, so we don't have that. So we definitely do need more of that. Potatoes and wheat because it has to last for full year. You know, winter is over, but the next harvest comes in, well, during September. Until then, we will have no potatoes and no flour anymore and that means we have to have much more of that ready for next year so already done as you can see it's rather quick how we um get those fields up and running there so they're already all sowed yeah all of them and are growing now so that's rather quick and now the normal way here continues we do have what i can see the weavers workshop here that has some workers here and is already producing some textiles now those textiles we do need to make some clothes out of it and we can do this yeah over here just here somewhere we do need the tailor workshop for that produces clothes from textiles and those clothes we can then sell and that's something we do need to do now the weaver workshop also a rather small building so we can have it over here. I think it would fit nice there. Even though, hmm, or over here. This is also looking like a good spot there. And before I place it here, that weaver workshop, there is something here, a bit of green area where we want to have more houses because I not only want to expand over here, but also here, of course. And more importantly, over here and here. I want to use those islands here, kind of like peninsulas here. Um, I want to use them and integrate them into my town. So we do need a bridge. Now the bridge is a bit tricky to build. The, for the bridge, we do have this one here. And what I've already seen is that, well, the bridge doesn't fit in anywhere here, you know, so I really can't place it anywhere here. I even removed the benches here, but we still have the houses that are on their way, so I can't place it here. So the only way where we can build the bridge is also not here because then we have this field of reefs here. So what we need to do is we need to build the bridge somewhere here. And that is just bad because that costs me a lot. 720 nails. 720 nails, that's how much nails we need for a single bridge. And we do have around 260 nails right now. I do like the look of the bridge, so it, it will be looking nice once we have it here, you know, but it's still way too expensive. So right now, um, with the money that we have, I can't afford that. We are making a small profit here at the moment. So what I also need to do is village house rent. I want to increase that. We haven't lost any families yet leaving the town you know so i think the village rent by standard is just way too low you can really really ramp it up and so just that we try it let's go for 250 let's go for 250 and see if anyone is actually willing to stay um or if there's anyone who leaves now not enough food variety is the other problem that we have right now it's like with the end of the year end of winter here all the time we're running short of food um potato is still a bit there um, the buckwheat, to my surprise, is really full. And what we can do now again, since winter is over, having the fishing boats here. So they're already working there, three fishing boats. And Boatyard is constructing new boats because over here, look at that, we have another fishing dock. And we already have fishermen We're working here, also getting the fish. Um, I do need to wait here a bit and to see where the path is forming. Pretty sure that it goes straight over here. Something like that. There we can then integrate the 
street in there and then we have a second row of buildings and since we do have everything ready right yeah except the houses we should actually get some village houses and we can finish this one here off you know so this one here is the these are the last buildings that we have here then just where the river is so those buildings form then a promenade or something like that also here another one and then ah this is this is a bit tricky here but this should work like that right so we have three more houses i think we can actually squeeze in probably one more here no i don't want to cut them off the thing is i can't get rid of the fences right so the building are that big so i can't make them smaller or something like that that's a bit problematic we could have it like so it's not looking the best yeah, but it's fine. Let's have... Oops, not like that. Oh, that's a bit tricky. This definitely still needs a bit of work here. This feature. I like that it merges with the other fences there, but it's not very precise. Now, here we have the other building. I hope it's not looking so bad. And here we have then another promenade f uh, coming along here, then ending with the fishing dock and then going here right into the town again. And here we end the town as we can see that. And for that, we'll need lots and lots of nails and wood again. So this is definitely going to take some time. I really love how though the town center is looking. So that's fine. And I think we're totally out of potato now then. Yep. Fish though is something that we have again. And we're making a nice profit. No one has left yet. No one has left, so hopefully we can keep that rent because I'm making some good amount of money there. Now, next up is very important, the weaver workshop the weaver workshop or the tailor's workshop that's it yeah close from from textiles and this one here i really would like to have it somewhere here because here we have other buildings coming up then and the bridge as well so we could have it here yep so there we have it and i think we can we could squeeze in Oh yeah, that would look good. Um, one house here. Just where we have uh, that path here. Oh, we can squeeze something else in here. I think we will also need a second smithy soon because we are not producing enough nails at the moment. Lime works. That might also work. Something like that. But right now we are building some houses again. Over here is the next one coming up. On this fine day in April. There it's coming up. Building them again. And here's another street that's forming then here. I love it. I could watch them all day here building those houses there. And lots of houses will be coming up here then. So that's a bit of the tricky thing then. Oh, yeah. There it's coming up. There we have it. And I think... No housing available. What? Oh, someone else moved in there again. Yes, because the children, of course, they also grow up. And the problem is then they need some place to stay and you know they just move over there then once something is available so with that i don't think that i gained any new workforce when something like that happens that is a bit i think you call it congestion so you know they're just moving then somewhere else i do not gain any workforce and i just have to build those houses there endlessly and the other thing that i can see is that some of the older ones probably where the children are moving out like those two here 56 and 57 they just live in there now and no children anymore you know so they just live there until they die and then probably a new uh, family moves in here or something like that probably happening now here we have a nice little square or town triangle as i can see so it's also good to have an another fence here then i love those fences there just here in the middle and in this fence we could then have some ash trees all right yeah before i built the last fence we do need to have the ash trees here 
right? So three of them, and then perhaps also some bushes once again. There, they've planted them already. So I can now finish this one here then. And then we just need number two it was going over there. And then the trees will grow out of this one here. Yep, like that. Also here, we could have some additional benches where people can relax if they want to. And they're just, the first thing they're doing when I build a bench is they just rush f to them and sit on them. Like they need to test it or something. People love the benches. And as I can see here, the street is already forming and here we get the next house coming up. I love the, I love how it looks every single time that you build those things there, like those construction sites in nothing. You know, you just really build it on grassland and around those buildings infrastructure appears then like the streets. Then I make a few benches to it and a fence here. And just keep in mind before, like 20 minutes ago, there was nothing here but grass. And that is just really cool. I love that. Here we get another street coming up then. So we could already then make this final here with another fence that we have here. You know, so this would be then a street there. I need to have a bit of distance there though. Let's have the fence then over here. This works. Right, and perhaps an arc. Having, an, having this one here. Right, so there's the promenade, there's then the, the river that we have, and here we have then the gate and the fence going over here. Also the same thing on the other side. And here another path will then form over time where people can then sit on benches. So once I place the benches there, people will rush towards that and do that. But right now we do have then a little fence here and I just want to wait for this building here to finish and then we can have the fence finishing off here and uh, to the building, up to the building there. That will definitely look pretty there. Now, next house is up. No one moved in here though. I think the next family just moved in there that was already waiting. And then we have the next house. How many nails do I have? 200. I still have enough nails. That's good to see. And what I can also see is that I just doubled my income for some reasons. So I really, yeah, I'm making a lot of profit here. And people still want to live here. Even though they don't have enough food variety at the moment. That is something that will come up with the fields then. Right, so that's that. Hmm, the Weaver Workshop is working, hopefully. Yep, is working, has enough workforce. And over here, the Tailor's Workshop. Can I put something on priority here? Nope, I cannot. So I'm still waiting on this one here. That's the Weaver Workshop, so we can sell something new again. Oh, and a new family is settling in our town. So we are at 92. We're coming towards the 100 there soon. And there is already the next house coming up. And we also have a messenger from Balakilia. Hmm, pigs. No, I lost some cows, so I would love to get some cows there. We could import some iron then soon. We do have the money for that. Um, how much iron do we have? We still have enough for a full year, I guess, um, for more nails then. So that is something to keep in mind, that we have enough of that. We have a workshop, boat yard here. I need to leave some room for the bridge that we have then. And I think the lime works from quick lime, and this one produces quick lime from limestone and charcoal. Stone mining camp. I still don't know what we need the stones for. Saddlery, oil workshop. No, we actually don't need any of those. A pigsty might be also cool to have over here somewhere. Or more on the outside there, who knows. What should I place here? That is the question. At the moment, I have no idea. Do I want to have some um, village houses here? So we even that out because right now all the villagers are living here. What we can do though here in the town center 
having a look at religion, we do have the small chapel, a place for prayer. And I think this just fits in here perfectly. Having a small chapel here for some prayer, why not? Right here. Right, so people can pray here at the market too. So the market offers something for everyone. And there, you might have a bush here. Next construction is completed. Having a few bushes here and there. To make the whole thing not look so sterile. Beside the bench there. Very good. So the marketplace is really forming, taking shape there, chapel then as well. Something like that. And what I can also see is the tailor's workshop is being constructed now. And we get another family, so 95. And do we still have jobs? We still have jobs available. I'm a bit surprised there. Forestry is working. There is now the field as well. That was quick. And for this one here... Hmm... Um, Fallow, we do need fallow then for, don't forget that, for hay. But right now, let's go for, yeah, another field of potatoes. I will just have a second farm then at some point. Or we just have more fields here then, getting rid of the forest. And there is now the tailor's workshop coming up. There it is, in all its glory. Having two workers there right away. Let's let's just make it full with five, uh, four workers. And here we can do the same. So they're now full working four. Do we do have enough hemp, right? Nope, okay, we also need to get more hemp fields then up. Um, and with that, they can now start producing clothes and those clothes we should be able to sell then. There they are, clothes, very good. They all are pretty full now. Let's say this one here and this one close. Very good. On the market then from that weaver workshop here. Yeah, right. I could have someone living here. No problem. And oh, there we have the chapel now too. People can go and take a prayer here. Let's just see that it's also looking a bit more organic here. Trees are still growing. Right, and there we have a cute little chapel up there and hopefully a street will then also appear here at some point because of course people want to go there and have a prayer. Um, amazing that I didn't have something like that yet here. The only, the, oh, the original thought was that I would like to have a church because a church is just an epic building. Look at that, it's huge. The thing is though, we can't remove for some reasons the village houses. I can remove the trading post. I could remove the town hall, but I cannot remove the village house. Financial help, if I click on them, I could say find home, but then it's just the home that he finds. So I cannot give him a new home or something like that. Um, that's a bit problematic here, so I'm kind of stuck with that, you know, so at the moment you cannot remove the village houses as far as I know, or as far as I can see, so we are really living permanently with those village houses. There's another one coming up, and here I would then like to have the bridge. We can already outline the bridge, I think, somehow. Alright, it really seems like I need to get rid of that. Oh, yeah. 
Before they finish that, let's demolish it. Let's get rid of it again. Now they're carrying everything away because the bridge is really taking a lot of space there. Where is it? That is too low for some reason, so this is not working. Inaccessible. And the bridge also needs a bit of space there in front of it. So it's fine. I can have the bridge here and people then just go through that one here or here to the bridge then to the other side where we're going to have more houses then. That's that's even better because I, I never knew what I would have here. And now I know it is a place where the bridge is then just, you know, ending. Something like that. There we can have the bridge. And I just place the bridge here now. But I'm not building it yet, so we can put it on pause there. Right, we don't want to build it yet, I just have, outli have it outlined now. And now I know where I can build something around it. You know, so we could have now more houses here then. Just where we have the cow sheds. So people can live here. And here we could also have a smaller building or something like that. We still have the shoemaker's workshop. I could have that here. Yeah, shoemaker would work. And here we can have a few additional village houses then. Right, so that those houses we can build now. That is fine. So they're coming up then. And the bridge we can leave here. So here we also have a bit of space then for people to do something. And here I will want to squeeze in then uh, one or two more production buildings then later. Something like that. And yeah, about the farm though. The farm really doesn't have that much space anymore. Um, we still have a bit of space here, what I can see. The problem then is that the forest tree that is working here soon will not have any more space here. So I probably will have to move everything over here then at some point and making room here with the bridge then here is a main path, you know, so going over here and there everything is then diversing, something like that. We do have some resources here, make empty, make empty. Right, so people take that with them, yeah. Because I want to see what I can squeeze in here. It's probably then the tailor workshop. Place is occupied right now by... By that one here, the resource stack. And there the next house is now coming up though. And this one here then. Right, look at the money there. Really good. Lots of money. And a family's moving out. Why are they moving out? Um, families moving out. Perhaps because of high prices or because not enough food variety. Families out of food. Oh, okay. We do have another food problem here. But the harvest is already going on here. So we do have lots of wheat. So lots of flour then we will have. The hemp here we do need for the textiles. And here we have a potato field. Unfortunately, this remains empty for this season. And there we have another house already. Someone is moving in, so they're 19 years old. But yeah, right now they don't have much food there. Bridge here. And we still have that resource stack there. Make empty. Really make empty. Someone should make it empty, probably. I would really love to build something there, but I can't right now. Anyway, the food is the problem. So let's have a look here. Flour, we still have a bit. Buckwheat, this one is totally empty. This one has a bit of fish there. But it's piling up now here. And also the windmill is working, producing some flour there. There's the hemp. Hard work. 
What is happening over here? Oh, they're moving out, right? By foot. I hope that's a good idea. Now it's gone. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah, very good. So we can have another house then here. Something like that. Just where the bridge is then. That's good. So we can then have a little path here going up here once I get rid of the forest tree and the charcoal pile. We do have a room here going up here then. That, that will look really, really nice. And what we can do here, um, the cow shed has the field here for now and the farm can have a few additional fields then out here. So we can move everything then a bit more over to that area. So we can then have another field then here. Connecting very good. We'll need, need lots of wood, but we are producing right now. Or we do need lots of wood anyway. And so we should be no having no problem there with chopping down that. We do have lots of wood here, so we can raise the capacity of that warehouse there for the wood. And a new family settling in though. Very good. Do we have some houses? No housing available for now. And over here, our new district. Not looking so bad. We can finish this one here with continuing with the bench there, uh, with the fences there. Right, so this one's closed. And if people want to go to the river, they can use this side here then. And also here, there we have another street. And there we have then the street already here. Perfect. That is working out. So here we can have then more fences if we want to. People love fences, so we should just give it to them. Um, oh, we have 400 and a new family is also settling here. So we are close to 100 now. And yeah, we are really making good money. Why is it so high this time? Because of house rent. We are making quite some good money here with local sales. But the house rent is really what, what's kicking in now. Like in the beginning, we made around 10 um, shilling or golden per year. And now we're making like 400 already by half the year. So that's pretty cool. And I think, yeah, we're also making more money now because we're selling now clothes as well to our people. And people really love the clothes. So they just purchase lots of that. And we should also have potatoes, but I don't see potatoes. We should have lots of potatoes at this point. Potato harvest 33, that can't be right. We got a good wheat harvest though. Yeah, wheat harvest is huge. But potatoes, what's going on? Where are potatoes? Nothing happened there this year, it seems. Potato, there it is. That is a bit strange. Do I need a building for that? The granary, the food storage, we still haven't built it. So here we can continue with it. Right, so let's wait until the granary is finished. And then hopefully we get the harvest over here. 